I've been using Dropbox for a little bit over a year. Uh, it's wonderful for sharing files that may be uh, too big to share via email. But I was kind of inspired by uh, Dick Eastman's article, Quick Easy Way to Share HTML Files on the Web. Well, I got thinking, why stop at just uh, HTML file and create a genealogy website out of it? I'm also going to share this link. Uh, he shows you how to back up your uh, genealogy file to Dropbox. Uh, you get the first two gig free, which is very nice. Uh, let's get started and create some web pages. I'm going to go on down to this genealogy program I use. And up here in Internet, I just click it and say create web pages. Okay, there's just a whole lot, bunch of little settings. I'll go into how to hide your email address from spam bots in another video, but just make sure you're not putting living people out there on the internet. We want to be careful there. But let's go ahead and create the web pages. Okay, here we go. Yes, I'd like to view it. Okay, here we've got the uh, website. Now, here I've hidden my uh, email address, so it's a little harder for people to find it. I'll show you how to do that in another video, but uh, as you can see, this is a working website. It's just running off my computer at the moment. So, once you get uh, Dropbox installed and ready to go, come down to this little box down here, left click, open Dropbox. Dropbox folder and we're going to want to go into public and we'll want to create a folder you can call it whatever you want And as soon as you get these little uh, green check marks, it's updated already. Okay, let's go to the folder the website was created in. And all you have to do is control A to select it all. Right click. And we're going to copy this. Go into your Dropbox folder. And all we have to do is paste it into place. And as it moves over, it's going to start uh, updating the Dropbox. Okay. Now, as you can see, we've got a mix of uh, green checks and blue circles. The blue ones are the ones being uploaded. And we'll just, uh, I'm going to pause this until they're all uploaded. Okay, as you see down here, 
the little drop box has a green check mark. That means everything's been updated. Now what we want to do is find the file that says index.htm or html. Here we find the file index.htm and since it's in your Dropbox folder and your running Dropbox, we just right click, go down to Dropbox, copy public link, and it's going to look something like this. So here's genealogy and the file. This is what you're going to want to email out to people that you want to share your genealogy with. Okay, this is live off uh, Dropbox. I'm just going to pick somebody at random. And here we have the information on the person. So uh, it's that quick and easy. You get two gigs free, which is quite a bit of room for your genealogy. So my next video, I'll show you how to put in a speed bump to keep the spam bots away. What I do is use this uh, recapture, CAPTCHA, and they have to type in this word and then they can reveal your email address. But we'll worry about that on the next video. So, like always, I hope you enjoy.